So there I was, toying with the notion, how can I improve the looks of my $70, $79 Mendini MV300? The deal was, it came with kind of a, a matte finish. And looking at it, after a while, it's like, wow, this thing looks kind of toyish. It really does. It, the finish was matte. It was kind of black or meh. But what I noticed, you can see I'm holding it. I'm going to hopefully impress you, was that the shading in the color were very well done. It wasn't a sunburst. It was just shaded and it had a, a nice color. Not the greatest figuring, but... There's a little bit of wood grain involved in there, and it's, again, a cedar top, like it should be. Not laminate, but actual cedar, and maple ribs and, and back. So what I did is I experimented. Why not? $79 violin, good color, good shading, just I didn't like the finish. I wet sanded the entire thing, not the inside, but all the outside, 2500 I didn't do 800 thousand just went straight for 2500 wet sanding because you know it was for a cheesy matte finish on a violin it was nicely done 2500 and then my secret weapon used on a dry paper towel wet sanded with 2500 constantly wiping off you know the the polyurethane finish let's not fool ourselves it's not spirit varnish then I followed up with, yeah, turtle wax polishing compound in this green can. Used with a dry cloth, and then as I get the old gunk and knock down that bad finish into a nice sheen, it just, I don't need to clean it off. I just use the polishing compound and the paper towel, and then it cleans itself. Wow. I'm not a big fan of antiquing. I don't like fake antique violins, but that nice shading you can see around the C, between the upper and lower bouts, even the ribs and the cedar on the top. If you were here and looked at this, sitting there, you know, next to other violins, you would not because of the new tailpiece and a better chin rest, you would not be able to tell that this was a $79 violin. Yes, now, they, uh, Mandini puts out a shiny violin, but I can't say that the $79, their cheapest version, I can't say that this looks like a cheap violin. The one clue, you know, that it's not an actual expensive violin is the scroll work you know it's it's neat they did a nice job where it comes into here that little notch is neatly done and the scroll is very precise but it doesn't have like the fluting within you know it's just kind of flat it's but who would notice that i even got a little polishing compound in the holes because i took it all apart you know and then put it back a little pop and it made the pegs turn better. Yes, it's probably going to degrade it. In the next 300 years, they'll probably have to plug it and then re-drill it. But I have to say, if you can... This $79 violin is wonderful. With the strings, like I said in my previous video, it doesn't hurt your ears. And I bet, I bet dollars to donuts, this thickish violin with its thickish plates... When I torture it for a couple weeks straight with that tone right to just blah, open up. I'm sorry if I scared you. The tone, the tone will improve. It'll probably sound a lot more open. And I know there are violin snobs. There are violin snobs. I'm sorry to break it to you, but you know, as of now. You know, of course it doesn't sound like Paganini, Paganini playing a, a Guadagnini or a Guanari, but compared to the $100 violin I bought when I was a young pup back when then, this is 
it's going to be a nice violin for 79 plus, you know, $9 for the tailpiece, 40 bucks for better, for better, um, strings, uh, it wasn't necessary to change the chin rest. I just wanted to mix it up and have boxwood there. You can get a tail piece, a Guanari style tail piece, you know, for 15 bucks on eBay. You might have to replace the barrels or these things, you know, because they're different. On this one, get look for short barrels. Hey, I'm impressed with this thing, and I am so looking forward to hitting it with the tone right and no way does that can I can see what you're looking at in the camera right there and it does not reflect how nice this looks this is a nice looking violin and all it took was a little bit of sweat equity sweat turtle wax polishing compound 2500 grit wet sanding how do they do this you know, it's, again, the details of setting it up. Set a price point, ship it from a factory. They're not going to spend a lot of time working on the, the bridge. They're not going to spend extra time fitting the pegs. They're not going to spend extra time doing this or that. But this is all within the technology of each and every one of you watching. Now, would I hit... <laughs> would I take this to a, a good violin that has... A good varnish? No. Would I wet sand with 2500 grit sandpaper? A good violin with good varnish? No. But exactly what are you out when you're beginning your journey into the art of luthiery with a $79 violin and you can get them even cheaper than that used on Reverb or eBay? Anyway, my wife is going to wonder where I am. I have to buzz over to our, our actual real house that we bought in Roger City. You may have been captured by my violin videos to this channel. I've got another channel, John J. Riggs Archery. Anyway, what I do on that channel, mostly bows and arrows. If you look at it, it's mostly bows and arrows. But occasionally I get into other jigs. So there I was. I've got a, a wonderful 07 Silverado. I don't want to you want to look at this, not listen to me or look at me. And I went to the dealership to buy a part, which you, you can order it online and save money, but it was the bezel for the tailgate latch, which I bought one on eBay, cheap plastic broke, fell off. So I went to the dealership, sucked it up, 30 bucks for a new piece of plastic, but it's higher quality, I could tell. While I was there, I looked at new trucks. I'm not going to buy one, no way, no how. I just was curious about them. What you would pay to get a new Silverado or an F-150 sitting in a lot, Silverado over $50,000, and after tax, license, mysterious fees, you're probably going to be paying or financing yourself for sixty-five, seventy thousand. dollars 70000 F-150, there was one for a lot, and after final fees and tax, $80,000. For something, you sit in and roll down the road. I paid $6,500 for my pickup truck. 130,000 miles rides like new. I could buy a bunch of them for, anyway. And so just for the fun of it, the car payment calculator. I typed in 60 months, 60 solid months of payments. Ugh. I just wrote a check for my pickup truck. The payments would be at 5 point something percent interest, GM financing, Ford financing. In the case of the F-150, it would have been $300 more than I'm paying for my mortgage. Something to think about. Well, anyway, love this I love this violin. This is fun. Have a good one, and thank you for watching and putting up, for, putting up with me. Putting up for me.